Okay, uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Chang Song Xu from University of Arkansas. Today uh, uh, I would like to uh, share away, uh, our uh, recent study on the BKT phase transition in the 2D ferry electrics. So uh, for my talk, I will uh, first briefly uh, introduce to the BKT phase or the transition and its uh, application and also uh, the ferry electricity in uh, uh, tin telluride. Uh, in the method part, I will introduce our uh, newly developed uh, effective Hamiltonian. And in the results, I will uh, use different analysis to support our prediction of the BKT phase. Uh, then I will conclude. So the BKT phase uh, 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 is different with uh, our uh, you know, commonly known uh, finite order uh, phase transition. It is uh, infinite order. It is uh, defined on the uh, classical 2D XY model. Uh, which has a continuous uh, uh, symmetry. Uh, as we can see from the, uh, from the uh, simple uh, Hamiltonian, we can imagine that at high temperature, uh, it, is, it has uh, uh, paraelectric magnetism. And at the, lower, uh, the lowest temperature, it should be uh, ordered uh, state. The model also tells us that uh, at the intermediate uh, uh, temperature, there should also be uh, something called uh, BKT phase. Uh, I would like to uh, show a video that uh, we can see something about the BKT phase. This is uh, when lowering temperature from, from the high temperature and uh, before it goes to the uh, low temperature uh, ordered state, there is something like a vortex, anti-vortex. Sometimes uh, they uh, form a, a pair. And uh, according to the theory, such uh, vortex and anti-vortex uh, present to uh, lower the, the total energy. Uh, the BKT theory has uh, a wide application in uh, a lot of different uh, uh, applications. For example, the uh, superfluid and uh, superconducting, a lot of uh, different systems. So uh, as most of our uh, community are from uh, ferry electricity, we want to know, does the BKT phase exist in the electric dipolar uh, system, especially for the 2D case? So uh, there are two major problems. The first one is the symmetry breaking. We uh, just mentioned it requires a continuous uh, uh, symmetry. But uh, for ferry electric system, there are uh, spontaneous uh, symmetry breaking. And also the long range dipole uh, dipole interaction that prefers long range uh, ordered state, which is uh, destructive to the uh, BKT phase. But uh, several years ago, very recently, uh, uh, it is uh, predicted that uh, in very thin uh, bion titanium, uh, titanate thin film, there are something like the uh, BKT phase. So uh, we want to move forward to look at the, some uh, real uh, 2D uh, materials. That is uh, tin telluride. Uh, Dr. Ji, just uh, our uh, first speaker of this afternoon, just uh, introduced the structure of uh, this one, so uh, for me it will be easier. The bulk uh, tin telluride uh, is a rock salt uh, uh, structure with a uh, ferry electric uh, Curie temperature of around 100 Kelvin. When, uh, uh, yeah, at the uh, ferry electric phase, it's uh, uh, rhombohedral and polarization along 111 direction. When it is at the, you know, the one atomic thin, uh, uh, one unisol uh, atomic thin case, something like here, uh, you know, the, the, the rhombohedral becomes uh, Paro, uh, I don't know how to read this word. <laughs> okay, and uh, surprisingly, the transition temperature went uh, went to very high around room temperature. So uh, this is going to be the uh, the system we're going to uh, uh, investigate if uh, the BKT phase uh, exists. Uh, this is the effective Hamiltonian we are using. It includes uh, four parts. The first one, are, the first one is uh, self-energy up to fourth order, and the second one is a pair uh, is a mode mode interaction, which uh, include both uh, short-range interaction and also the dipole dipole interaction. The third one is uh, uh, elastic energy, which uh, 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 involve only the implant strength, and the fourth one is uh, strain mode couplings. We run uh, Monte Carlo simulations on uh, 20 by 20 or 32 by 32 with different uh, thickness. Uh, 
First, let's uh, decide the uh, uh, query temperature. Uh, as you can see, uh, there is uh, some discrepancy between the predicted uh, uh, query temperature of 14.6 and the experimental uh, 270. Yeah, this is uh, largely under uh, estimation. And uh, I hope to see uh, it's some drawback of the uh, Hamiltonian, uh, effective Hamiltonian method. A similar work also uh, work on the effective Hamiltonian of uh, the same uh, uh, system. They uh, use uh, compensation uh, pressure uh, to uh, to adjust the, the very much under uh, estimated uh, cure temperature. But uh, anyway, we will go. Uh, we will proceed with this. Uh, uh, yeah, naked value. Uh, to uh, predict the uh, BKT phase, we first uh, look at the correlations. The correlation function is uh, defined as uh, simply uh, as uh, the dot product of two uh, local modes at certain distance r. According to the theory of uh, XY, 2D XY model, at a very high temperature, the correlation follows the uh, uh, exponential uh, uh, fitting. Uh, as we can see, at uh, the pressure, uh, at the temperature well above Tc, it indeed follows the exponential very well. Uh, as we can easily imagine, uh, at the lowest temperature, it's ferroelectric, and uh, it should be the, the correlation should be a constant. Well, at uh, in the medium uh, temperatures, uh, according to the theory, it should be something uh, uh, power law. So we chose uh, uh, temperature right above Tc and uh, do the fitting. It indeed fit the power law much better. So it is uh, it indicated that. Uh, yeah, there is a possible BKT phase right about TC in the 1UC in thickness of uh, 10 telluride. So uh, now we look at the temperature evolution of the eta, and uh, the eta is the eta at, uh, at here. We know at uh, high temperature, uh, the, the pore law doesn't fit very well, but uh, anyway, we still uh, do the fitting and uh, look at the temperature evolution of uh, eta. Uh, again, according to the 2D uh, XY model, uh, the TBKT, the critical temperature for BKT phase, should be uh, determined at uh, uh, where it uh, equals uh, 0 0.25. Uh, in this way, we determine the critical temperature TBKT to be 17.8. Uh, uh, so uh, we have a uh, uh, BKT phase uh, temperature window between 14.6, uh, the TC, and the uh, 17. Uh, Eight Kelvin. Well, on the other hand, for uh, a little bit thicker uh, film, the two UC tin telluride, we didn't find uh, a uh, BKT phase because uh, the determined uh, TC, uh, TBKT falls uh, uh, lower than the TC, so that means a collapse of the BKT phase in the two UC tin telluride. And now we look at the vertex anti vertex pairs at the at a very low temperature, uh, it is a ferroelectric uh, uh, state. And we can see all the dipoles uh, are uh, um, parallelly aligned. When increasing temperature and across uh, uh, the Curie temperature, we see uh, vertex and anti-vertex pairs. Ah, I, I forgot to mention that the uh, blue and uh, red dots uh, indicate the, the vertex and anti-vertex. We can see within the BKT phase, they are uh, kind of uh, perfectly uh, forming uh, uh, tightly bounded pairs. Uh, when uh, further increase the temperature uh, in the PE phase, uh, there are a lot of uh, vertex, anti-vertex. Uh, it's hard to, uh, to see uh, whether they are pairing. And uh, we also know those kind of uh, vertex, anti-vertex pair are, are dynamically uh, stable. Although we didn't run the uh, MD simulation, we have uh, a lot of different uh, MC steps. We can see, indeed, some pairs are annihilated and some one are created. Uh, also, we look at the pair density. We plot the uh, natural log of uh, uh, pair density uh, as a function of a TBKT over T. So uh, please note the, uh, this side is a low temperature. Uh, according to the theory, uh, the slope in this kind of plot is happen to be the, uh, it's just the, the, the chemical potential. Uh, yeah, and uh, according to theory, uh, the, 
the perfect uh, uh, chemical potential to form a BKT phase is uh, uh, minus 10.2. And uh, our fitting, our fitting gives uh, minus 10.5, which is very close to the uh, theoretical uh, value. So uh, one last uh, evidence for the uh, BKT phase is the symmetry rised uh, 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 probability of distribution, distribution of the local mode. We can see uh, at the uh, ferro electric phase, the, the, uh, the symmetry breaking, the, uh, the fourfold symmetry breaking, and the, at the pair electric phase, it's uh, continuous. And uh, between uh, those two, uh, two phases, it's the uh, BKT phase, with uh, you see the distribution show a different uh, topology uh, uh, distribution. And uh, at the end, we look at the uh, strain effect. Yeah, if uh, you uh, worry about the very much underestimated uh, uh, TC, uh, maybe the, the slope uh, yeah, make, uh, yeah, can give us more uh, information. As we can see, uh, when uh, applying tensile strain, uh, the TC increase uh, very fast. It's kind of like uh, for 1% of uh, tensile strain, it increased 91.4 uh, uh, Kelvin. And uh, the, for uh, a little bit compressive uh, strain, the ferro electricity uh, varnish. And it can also be uh, as high as uh, 473 Kelvin at 5% uh, uh, tensile strain. We are also determine the phase boundary of the BKT phase. Uh, it looks like this. We find that the BKT phase exists between the strain, uh, strain zone of minus 0.5% uh, and 0.8%. Uh, and uh, for some strain around here, the BKT phase is, uh, can even be found as, uh, as, as a ground state. But honestly, I, uh, during the calculation, we find uh, among this uh, region, the BKT phase uh, and the ferro electric uh, phase and uh, pair electric phase, they have uh, very much similar energy. And uh, the widest uh, temperature window for BKT phase is uh, at here. So the largest uh, window is like uh, from zero to uh, seven point three Kelvin. Okay. Uh, so in this uh, study, we predict the BKT phase uh, indeed exists in the 1UC uh, tin telluride thin film. And uh, we also look at the uh, strain effect, uh, that the strain tune the stability of uh, the BKT uh, phase. As uh, some, uh, uh, some of other, uh, other uh, speakers mentioned, there are more and more other two-dimensional uh, uh, ferro electricity being uh, predicted. I think uh, it will pr provide a more uh, platform for the uh, BKT phase. Thank you. Time for questions? Yeah. Um, I guess, I mean, I'm always a bit nervous if you find exactly what the theory predicts, but okay, that's, that's fine. Um, your your vortex anti-vortex must be highly mobile. I mean, they're, they're, they're probably moving around extremely fast. Have you, have you done the relaxation tests whether, uh, I mean, you have creation annihilation of mm -hmm. the vortex anti-vortex, yes. but then also the pairs must be incredibly mobile. Is, is that you true? You mean they can uh, move uh, in In the fast. lattice, yes. Yeah, as I mentioned, we uh, performed the MC simulation, so uh, we have no idea of the, the speed. So yeah. we can just uh, see the, uh, the indeed move. Well, the, the problem is whether they would cluster and whether they form some... Uh, I'm sorry? Whether they would cluster and form some other cluster. pattern in there after sufficient relaxation. Specific pattern, you mean? Yeah, I mean, you can have some area in the, in the crystal uh -huh. which is absolutely full of vortex, anti-vortex. Whereas uh, you showed in the beginning for the highly dilute limit, you have some here and some there, and uh -huh. so they're uh, uniformly distributed. You mean the... Yeah, this there. One? So if you... This, uh, if you this temperature is just uh, at TC. So uh, this one yeah, is yeah. Uh, uh, within the... Right. Uh, well, you need to check really the mobility and, and mobility. Um, where, where they go in equilibrium or closer to equilibrium. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, 
uh, very nice talk. I'm just wondering, if in this uh, tin telluride case, you only have in-plane polarization, right? Yes. Uh, but for 2D ferroelectric like uh, Indian 2, uh, Selenium 3, you also have this outer plane component. Well, uh, I guess my question is, uh, is this in-plane polarization the requirement to get this BKT phase? Uh, yeah, it's a good question. So uh, for a typical BKT phase, uh, it's a 2D model. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, normally it uh, only involves the implant, uh, you know, dipoles, either magnetic or uh, ferroelectric. Uh, but uh, if it has a small outer plane, I don't know, we, we need to check. For uh, Indian 2003, the outer plane component is actually pretty big. But my second question is, is there any, you know, uh, uh, optical approach to uh, uh, check you mean, the presence uh, of BKT phase? I mean, how do you measure or determine this phase experimentally? Okay. The measurement. We uh, actually talked with uh, some uh, experimental uh, group to uh, want, yeah, trying to uh, observe this phase, but uh, it's actually uh, pretty difficult. Uh, as we just mentioned, it, it's dynamical. It's, uh, it's very hard to uh, take an image of it, like, like when you take a picture, the, the exposure uh, time. So uh, it's, it's challenging. Uh, I'm just wondering, uh, in the fitting of the effect of Hamiltonian, what's, what's the band gap of this system? Is this a very small band gap system? or The band it, gap? Yeah, or is it even one of these systems where the DFT gap can become metallic? Or I mean, do you have any problem like that? Hmm. Um, okay, to put a question, what's the, what's the band gap, let's say, in the high symmetry phase? Uh, I, I'm sorry, I can't remember the, the exact value. <laughs> Uh, but uh, no, we, we, we uh, actually we didn't consider too serious about the band gap during uh, construct of the Hamiltonian. Any other questions? Well, I have one myself. So essentially, if you were looking for materials that are potential candidates to present this phase, mm -hmm. ferroelectric materials, what would be the requirements? Simply the possibility to go to a two-dimensional structure? Or at the level of the interactions, do you have any favorite uh, situation? Yeah, any requirement for the 2D uh, ferroelectric system, right? Any requirement to, uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, it's a good question. So uh, I think some uh, real uh, 2D, very thin, atomic thin, uh, is, is a requirement. I, I think uh, this is uh, very much important because as you, you can see in my uh, Hamiltonian, I didn't use the, uh, uh, the very common uh, method to uh, deal with dipole-dipole uh, -dipole interaction, but uh, give it a, a trunk uh, distance. This is because uh, we found that uh, uh, some literature report that uh, for uh, 2D system, the Coulomb uh, screening uh, can, be, uh, can be weak, not thoroughly. So uh, this, this could be an advantage to prevent the, the long-range uh, Dipole order, I think uh, a thin film, uh, very thin, can be, uh, can be better. Okay. Okay, if there aren't any other questions, let's thank our speaker again. Thank you.